This place is really dope. I didn't really have a chance to like check it out earlier because, you know, we just ran. Hey, here are the sisters. Hi. Hey guys. Hey guys. <laughs> we it made going? it. Yay. So a cool fact about this area is this is the only place in Milan, actually scratch that, this is the only place here in Italy that's modernized. So that means there's free Wi-Fi in the community. Everyone's interconnected through technology. It's sustainable here. In my opinion, I think this is just the start of where Italy is going towards. And it's really dope to see that, you know, they're eco-friendly too. It's, look how look how many trees there are up there in the buildings, you know? So this is Milan's version of the High Line right here. There's a little park, there's a crossway, and they're gonna try to build more towards down that way. And try to have, I think from what I've researched, it's gonna be about like a 27 minute walk all together. And the High Line in New York is only a 20 minute walk all the way across. This is a Samsung district. So Samsung and a few other companies actually invested in real estate around here about four years ago, and now this has become the most modern part of Italy. And it's crazy to see because all throughout our Milan trip, we've been going through older buildings, buildings that are older than America. But now, we are in the future of Italy. Crazy. I didn't realize that we were actually walking on top of a building. That is so crazy. Wow, and there's parking space underneath. Damn. Damn. So tonight is Vogue's fashion night out. What does that even mean? It means everything is romanticized um, it feels like a club in every single store and people can shop late people can shop till a drop until 10 p.m. actually and 10 p.m. is actually pretty late here in Italy Fashion Night Out is in full effect right now. I feel like I'm in a club that you could shop really expensive clothes in. Yeah, yeah. If you guys don't remember, this is where we ran through earlier this morning with Red Snake. And now it's pretty lively, isn't it? Chica and Chevy are still shopping, so I decided to just walk around and explore and see how the night is. And look what I found. A bunch of people dancing. Shim, shim, shim. bone marrow, risotto. This is the first pasta meal that I've had here in Italy. And I am so excited. After a night out in Vogue's fashion night out, we finally have a meal for ourselves. So good. Mm. Mm. Oh my lord. This is so good. One, the beef is delicious. Two, the risotto is delicious. Three, I have unlimited cheese. Even better! I'm 
very happy I was able to connect with people from London and from Milan, even if it was just for a little bit. And I know, and I hope they know, that I'll be back to hang out again. It's different outside of the US. If you guys aren't from the US, you guys know what I'm talking about. It's just very different, you know? And I'm gonna be very honest with you. We've been having a very hard time just kind of getting around in Italy. The f these are just, you know, my impressions, my first impressions of London and Milan. London was a little easier to get around. It was easier to make friends, and I already had friends in London. So, to me, that's kind of distracting. But what is dope to experience is a totally different culture. I mean, you could only really see from media and the internet, but it's nothing like actually experiencing things firsthand, you know? And I encourage you guys all to do something, to go out there and try to learn about different cultures. Traveling in the US is very different from traveling in Asia and in Europe. And I've only been outside of the country just a few times. And you know what? It's kind of fun getting lost sometimes, you know? Now I'm gonna ask you guys for some help. If you guys have any advice traveling internationally, if you guys are experienced in traveling, if you guys have any tips, if you guys have any advice, go ahead and comment those down below and let me know. For me, I am happy that I made friends along the way journeying through Europe. And know this, Italy is a beautiful country. Milan is a beautiful city. The people here are amazing. And they've been, they've been very helpful, whether they know how to speak English or they just speak Italian. And I'm just glad there's good people out there that are willing to help out strangers. And I hope you guys take in that lesson that if you see a stranger and if they don't know how to speak the language, if they don't know how to get around, if they don't know where they're going, help them out, guys. Because I'm happy that strangers helped me out throughout this trip. It's not easy traveling to a country that you have no idea what to expect, except for the things that you've seen on the internet and on the media. If you guys have any tips and suggestions or advice, and traveling internationally, go ahead and comment those suggestions down below and let us all know. Because you are helping me and you are helping everyone else be a better traveler. This is Raymond and I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of Running with Raymond. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and subscribe to our channel up there. This is Raymond. That's makeup pro behind me, and I will see you guys later. Raymond. <laughs>